hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of n if we have square root of n multiplied by square root of n multiplied by square root of n plus square root of n equals to 10 and we solve this problem for the values of n so here you see that our n is multiplied by three times so you know that if any value that is multiplied by three times we write it as three cubed so according to this rule uh, here now we write uh, our left hand side as in this form because uh, here you see that square root of n is multiplied by three times we write it as square root of n and its whole cubed plus this is square root of n and this whole equation equals to 10 and now here in the next step uh, we uh, need to convert this radical equation into the cubic form for this we will take here uh, x is equals to square root of n so when you put when you take our x equals to square root of n so it will be written as x cubed plus x is equals to 10 so this equation will become a uh, cubic in x variable and now here we easily find uh, the values of x from here so for this we need to rewrite our right hand side as here we break this 10 and we write it as 8 plus 2 we know that 8 plus 2 becomes here 10 and in the left hand side we have x cubed plus x is equals to here we write this 8 as 2 cubed plus this is our 2 and now here in the in the next step we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and the other term with other term so we have the cubic term here in the left hand side is x cubed and the cubic term in the right hand side is 2 cubed so when we move this 2 cubed in the left hand side it will become minus 2 cubed and plus here we have this is x and when we move this plus 2 in, in the left hand side it will become minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 so now here uh, we apply the nice cubic formula so that uh, for this cubic formula uh, you know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so you see that here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so here our a is equals to x and b is equals to 2 and when we put the values of a and b so it will be written as the first factor is a minus b and the value of a is x and it is uh, it will be written as x minus the value of b is 2 into again we have a square so here our a is x it will becomes x square plus a b so again our a is x and b is 2 plus b square so b is 2 square and plus we have this is x minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to focus on both of these terms and you see here we have x minus 2 be the common term so when we take a common x minus 2 we get the remaining values are this is x square plus this is 2x and plus this 2 square becomes 4 and plus when we take common this x minus 2 we will get here 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications here uh, and we again uh, add or subtract the like terms so we have uh, the like terms are these two constant terms so we have x square plus 2x plus 4 plus 1 becomes 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we convert or divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 2 equals to 0 the second case is we write x square plus 2x plus 5 equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of x equals to 2 and from this case here we need to find the values of x so you see here this is the quadratic equation and now here we need to find 
uh, the roots of this equation so for this we can apply here the quadratic formula in order to find the values of x so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 5 and we state the quadratic formula as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula and now here we need to put the values of a b and c here so the value of b is 2 when we put it here it will becomes minus 2 plus minus square root of b square b square becomes 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 5 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we have our x is equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 2 square and 2 square equals to 4 minus this is 4 times of 5 becomes 20 and this whole is equals to 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications here and it will be written as minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 20 equals to minus 16 and it is divided by 2 and here you know that about the square root of this term uh, so it will be written as minus 2 plus minus uh, here we can just apply separately square root on both of these values and we write it as square root of 16 into square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 and in the next step we have x is equals to minus 2 plus minus the square root of 16 equals to 4 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have our x is equals to here we need to break this fraction and it will be written as minus 2 over 2 plus minus 4 iota divided by 2 so this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we have x is equals to minus 1 plus minus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get here 2 iota so these uh, are the other two complex values of x and now we move uh, backward and we can just put uh, backward the values of x so now here we back substitute the values of x and we have the first value of x is equals to 2 the second value of x is equals to minus 1 plus minus uh, 2 times of iota okay and we in the start of the problem we will take here our x is equals to square root of n so this will be written as square root of n equals to 2 and in this case we have square root of n is equals to minus 1 plus minus 2 iota so here in order to find the values of n we need to take the scaling on both of the sides so when we take scaling on this case we get here square root of n and its whole square equals to 2 square so we easily get the value of n equals to 4 so this is the first value of n which we get here from this case and here again we take the scaling on this case and you get here square root of n and its whole square equals to minus 1 plus minus 2 iota and its whole square so this 2 and this square root are gone and we get the value of n is equals to minus 1 plus minus 2 iota and its whole square root so these are the other two complex values of n. So this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.